broadly and humbly asked, and asked of myself as well. Are we so ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ that we're unwilling to share our faith in Jesus Christ and His soon return with others? You need to know something that you don't know. What's that? People are asking questions about the very things we should know and have the answer to and need to be at the ready to give to everyone an answer of that blessed hope that we have that Jesus is coming to rapture us before the seven year tribute, which we are on the end. out of myself. I know that was quite, uh, quite something. I'm just going to bring it to an end. And uh, my apologies for the length and the disruption. The only answer is Jesus. One last thought, as we just witnessed what, what just happened. I'll just speak for myself. You know when I get concerned is when the enemy leaves me alone. Um, I pose no formidable threat to the kingdom of darkness you know you're really in trouble when you get a thank you card and a gift card and your wife gets a bouquet of flowers from the enemy. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. I know I'm over dramatizing it, but I think you get the point. That's when I really get concerned. Jesus says, beware when all men speak well of you. I'm not at all concerned when the powers of darkness and the forces of hell and those entities, the, the wickedness in high places that Paul delineates in Ephesians 6, when they, what's the word, I'll just use the word exercise for lack of a better one, when they exercise their displeasure in whatever form it manifests, I'm like, wow, thank you God, obviously. Um, the ire of the enemy has been aroused and you have been pleased. Again, I would be concerned if the enemy just left me alone, because I'm, I'm no threat. Because all he's, if I could just, just give, give me this, <laughs> we're almost done. I need to share this, just from my heart to yours. I want to be careful though. Now, nah, better left unsaid. Sorry. That would be better left unsaid. 
Father in heaven, thank you. Lord, we pray for Tracy and just for your Holy Spirit to fill her. That you would remove any evil spirit from her and that it would be completely clean so seven more don't come back. And Lord, thank you. Thank you for not giving me permission to just get up here every Sunday and preach safe sermons for which the enemy will not be at all upset with or disturbed by. Thank you for those that have that same calling and are faithful to it. All my brothers in arms, as they say, who also have not been given permission to preach soft, smooth sermons, but have the spiritual spine and the power of the Holy Spirit to speak the truth in love because of love. And Jesus, you are love. In Jesus' name we pray.